Welcome back and we have just received some breaking news. This is coming in from the West Bengal government. In fact, uh, what we are hearing is uh, that there was a hearing uh, going on in the uh, Calcutta High Court and there has been a huge setback for the West Bengal government because what we are hearing is that the Calcutta High Court has transferred all cases related to the crime against women, land grabbing and also the other cases to the CBI. The court is going to be monitoring the case. Hundreds of cases have been uh, filed, had been filed rather, in the Sandesh Kali strongman Sheikh Shahjan's and also his aides. In fact, the court has dismissed the CBI to open an online platform to receive complaints. However, all those cases that had been registered against Sheikh Shahjan have now been transferred to the CBI. Uh, Sheikh Shahjan is already in the CBI custody, so this is a big shot in the arm for the CBI, uh, which is at liberty to question now any rank officers. Okay, so this is a big news coming in and a huge setback for the West Bengal government after the High Court has directed that all cases related to the strongman, the Trinamool Congress strongman, Sheikh Shahjah, be transferred now to the CBI. So all cases, any case that was registered against Sheikh Shahjah about women or alleged harassment or even land grabbing will now be investigated by the CBI. This after the court has directed that all of these cases are going to be handed over to the CBI. Ananya joins us for the very latest. Ananya, tell us a little bit more. We believe that all cases related to the, to the Sheikh Sharjah case is now going to be investigated by the CBI. Well, definitely it's a big setback for the, 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 the Bengal, West Bengal government because, you know, all of these cases will now go before, in fact, the Central Bureau of Investigation, the CBI, would be investigating all of these cases. And if you remember, uh, the last hearing that had happened before the Calcutta High Court, there were very strong observations that the Calcutta High Court had gone on to make, very clearly pointing it out that, you know, if at all a single allegation of rape is true in this particular case, in, in the cases pertaining to Sandesh Kali, then it will hit the reputation of, in fact, the West Bengal government, which is said to be, as per the NCRB data, one of the safest places for women and this would be bring a, a lot of disgrace to the, 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 uh, the investigation agencies of West Bengal which is primarily the West Bengal uh, CID and the West Bengal police if you remember uh, uh, the starting of this matter when uh, uh, there was a CBI investigation sought by the uh, by the enforcement director clearly asking uh, uh, the enforcement uh, asking the Calcutta High Court to transfer uh, the matter pertaining to the attack on its official the ED officials while they had gone to raid Sheikh Shahja uh, to in fact the CBI or any central agency uh, the West Bengal government had come uh, in all all opposition to that particular order and if you remember that uh, they had come to the extent of challenging that order to the to the supreme court as well but there was no relief granted to them and the matters went to this uh, went to the central uh, uh, the central uh, bureau of investigation and now today all the other matters too relating to Sheikh Shaja have been transferred to uh, in fact the central bureau of investigation so now the CBI would be in much more power they would be able to investigate this particular case in a well a well read manner and in fact online portals too have been opened uh, to in fact you know give give uh, the clarity to women who can actually approach uh, the, the central agencies to actually file their complaints and register their grievances uh, with regards to how uh, and what they had faced uh, 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 on uh, with uh, Sheikh Shahjah. So very clearly a big setback coming in for the West Bengal government, especially for the TMC. Uh, TMC is the Sheikh Shahjah who's already inside uh, jail after he was being uh, after he was arrested by the West Bengal uh, CID in that particular case. And later, in fact, the CBI also tried to take his uh, uh, tried, uh, also took his custody after the Calcutta High Court had asked, uh, in fact, the West Bengal CID right. to send him to the Central Bureau of Investigation. Avantika. Right. Ananya, stay on with me. Kumalika also joins us. Kumalika, we're just getting in news from the High Court, uh, giving instructions that all the cases now will be handled by the CBI. Uh, all cases related to Sheikh Shahjah, the Trinamool Congress strongman, will now be investigated by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Uh, do you have any reaction from the Trinamool Congress? Have you heard from the state government? So, till now, there is no reaction. This mm. just has come. So, we will take, obviously, they will not take it in a uh, proper uh, stride in a good stride because all the cases have been given to CBI. Let me also just update you certain other things which have been stated in the court. Number one is all the cases will really be given to CBI that we know. Mm -hmm. Number two, CBI has to form a portal, a website. So in that website, anybody can uh, apply for this land grabbing, rape cases, or land transfer cases, everything, anybody can go and file the cases out there. Hmm. And all these things will be done under court monitoring. Within 15 days, CCTV will be, uh, it has to be installed in various places. Within 15 days, LED lights have to be given in various places. There have to be protection and security has to be given to the 
eye witnesses and the witnesses of various cases and they can call anybody uh, that may be police officer sdo bdo anybody any administrative person um, for this investigation and the second may is the next hearing so it is quite clear that it's a, it's a very direct uh, it's a very big uh, uh, big direction that has been given by the court indeed on uh, satesh kali and i think obviously it's not it's not very going to be very good with the government with the tmc government and obviously it is going to be the bjp has started reacting by stating that this is the justice uh, they were waiting for and kamalika you know you have tracked the story so closely sheikh sharjah now is in the investigating agency's custody he is being questioned so this would come as a big blow for the west bengal government who were accused of protecting and shielding him for such a long time because he is known to enjoy considerable clout in the political circles in fact many also say that his meteoric rise is a result of uh, his dealings and workings within the state government absolutely that is definitely a embarrassment for the state government that yes. is an embarrassment for trinamool congress party because they were you know after the in when the initial cases were registered nothing happened against them and the ed team was attacked nothing happened against them against him only after when all these things came up and the women started you know women started to say what happened to them after that and when the, when the matter went to court then only uh, shah jahan was uh, arrested so definitely this is this puts a very big question and it is all again an embarrassment for the west bengal government and tmc party right and ananya if you could just give us more details about uh, you know that portal that even uh, uh, kamalika was mentioning the court directing the cbi to open this online platform uh, for anyone to register their complaints how beneficial it would be for those who have suffered uh, those who have gone through the ordeal while uh, sheikh shahja was ruling sandesh khali ananya Kamalika let me just ask that question to you 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 know you were just mentioning about that online platform uh, an online platform that the court has directed the CBI to now open how beneficial would this be to so many victims who allege atrocities who have gone through such an ordeal at the hands of Sheikh Shah Jahan see there already uh, there was lot of camps were set up there when when this thing erupted and the pool from police also there were camps set up so CBI can take the data from there Also, Priyanka Tibrewal, he she went there. Bharati Gore, she went there. They set up various camps there in Sandesh Khali to take up the uh, cases. So definitely now people are more aware there. So if this portal also comes up, then this will be better for them that they can really directly go and approach and put their uh, problems there, put their 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 complaints there. This is really going to benefit for the people who are uh, still they want to actually say that what has happened to them. Right, Kamalika, and you know what has been the state government's reaction ever since Sheikh Jahan Jah was put into custody. Now, uh, I remember you know you spending so much time in covering that story and just how Sheikh Jahan Jah had been on the run for such a long time, and then finally he was apprehended. So, how really has been you know the state government's response to the entire sequence of events? Definitely, initially the state government was not uh, very much keen. Of, uh, of Monica, uh, I'll just interrupt you.